So uh, literally just coming out of the uh, Etihad Stadium as you can uh, see behind me now and it is raining uh, but there is no tears coming from the Wolves fans today. Um, the Wolves fans are absolutely magnificent throughout the game and to be fair so was the team. We've come to the current champions of the Premier League at the Etihad Stadium and um, they've only managed to beat us one goal to nil and we've played the entirety of the second half with 10 men which I'll come to in a bit and they've scored and won it off what is I've not seen it back yet so I've got to reserve judgment but what is a very very debatable penalty decision all I can say on that um, read the stuff on social on Twitter and stuff like that not just from Wolves fans but from the Wolves press as well saying that it was a shocking decision from the referee uh, to get the uh, to give the penalty uh, handball against Matinho um, they're saying a lot of the City fans around them are saying it was a shocking decision it's gone to VAR and do Wolves ever get any VAR decisions no of course we don't they've given the decision it's Sterling that's come up to score apparently his 100th Premier League goal and then the Man City fans have started to sing. Uh, I don't mean to be disrespectful to the uh, to the Man City fans or anything, but you know you've got a fantastic stadium, you've got an absolutely fantastic team, and the support was not great. Other than when you sang, there's a bit of banter going between the sides, the little slither on the side, but disappointing. Uh, the Wolves fans throughout got behind the team. You know, in adversity, singing uh, the wonders will never die, the goal will keep the gold flag flying high at the end. And you know what? In terms of like the game itself, City have not really hurt us. In the first half, we're so in the game. You know, the two fouls on Traore, I was thinking there might be another one. He was causing issues as he always does against City every time we play them. And um, and then there's a moment, there's 10 seconds of madness from you know, Raul Jimenez. He's lost his head. It's a, it's a, he's, he's given a yellow card in the transition, which is a debatable yellow card anyway. And then he's obviously feels really aggrieved and he's blocked the ball. I think he's been warned and then he's blocked the free kick. And within the space of sec 10 seconds, he's picked up two yellow cards and he's sent off. Madness, silliness, stupidity from Raul, really passion, maybe. He's obviously distraught coming off the pitch. He knows what it means to the, to the team. Um, but he wears his heart on his sleeve. He's given so much to the club. And you can forgive him for that moment of madness that's happened today. And it's put us on the back foot. Even despite that, in the second half, we've only got a Dharma front. He's brought Wang on after about 60 minutes. Um, We've defended resiliently. Cody headed off the line again. Jose Sarr has been magnificent. The whole team's defended so well. You know, we've been not, not, we knew that we we're going to have not a lot of possession against City. And second half, it was very much one way traffic against them. And the only way they've managed to score is from that debatable penalty. Um, if you're a City fan, you'll come on here and you'll probably say we're feeling bitter or whatever. I don't feel bitter. Man City are a magnificent side, you know, you're better than having to get a penalty to beat us today. Um, I'd like a City fan to come on and give a real fair assessment rather than a, a rose-tinted one or a blue-tinted one. You know, on the balance of play, on the balance of possession and shots, to Man City, you know, they can justify their victory, but on terms of the spirit of the performance, the heart and performance, I think Wolves have won... A, a, I think Wolves have got a moral, 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 got the word, a moral victory today. Um, and you've got to be proud of, the, uh, proud of the lads. In terms of team performance, you've got to give it a high number. I'm going to give it an 8.5 uh, for, the, for the teamwork in terms of man of the match. I think there's a lot of heroes out there today, but Jose Sol, he's looking every bit a top, top world-class keeper for me. Uh, great signing. And for the second week running, we're leaving the stadium, having lost to one of the title chasers, Liverpool, last week with a 94th minute. Man City away this week, playing with 10 men for half the game, losing 1-0 on the wrong end of another VAR decision. I feel it's hard 
I'm a proud of the team, definitely. Um, and we, uh, Raul's going to be suspended, obviously, now for the Brighton game. And then we've got Chelsea next week. It wouldn't be surprise me if we play well against Chelsea and the same result happens. But we've got to try and get something out of Brighton in midweek. And don't forget, their match against Tottenham has been called off. So they've had a full weekend to recover just the way it goes for Wolves. But it's ended up here. Um, Manchester City 1, Wolverhampton Wanderers 0. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Please smash a like to the video. Look out for extra time. Want to get on? Give us a shout. The match blog will be interesting as well. And um, yeah, we go on from here to the next one. Until the next one, always Wolves.